The moment of truth. What can this Excalibur handle? Yeah, so we had this thing rigged up because Gracie, which you saw on the channel before we riding together, she was tightening it up and stripped the thing. So we had to do all this stuff to keep the bikes on. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. Which it worked. Thankfully. All right guys, so we are taking the Trek Excalibur out today and shout out to Trek Boulder for making this happen They said they wanted to help with the channel and give you guys a lot of more on-trail experiences with this bike So I can show you guys and give you guys my opinion and we are starting off with the Trek Excalibur So this is an interesting bike that I really like a lot and it's funny because I never really looked into this bike But now that I've looked into it, I think people should just go with this one over to Trek Marlin Unless you want to just keep the Trek Marlin forever, this will be a perfect bike to start with because it's very upgradable, has a tapered head tube, and it has internal cables for adding a dropper post, which is huge. I've also been working with a few companies that I really like and I really believe in. So I know you guys have been seeing a lot of links and stuff like that, but it really helps out the channel. It helps me give you guys more in-depth content and content more often so when you guys click those links and everything it helps out a bunch because i shoot and edit these videos all myself it's a lot of work guys but i want to give you guys the best possible experience on this channel another thing that's cool i did not notice had an xt derailleur so that's pretty cool to get an xt on this bike and also have you guys tried these esi grip i've seen them on a couple people's channels but i've never tried them the truck store recommended that i try them out because they love them so we're gonna see if they feel good or not but let me know if you guys have them all right guys so we are headed to the trail but i got an embarrassing confession to make I forgot my chesty. So it'll be no POV footage on my chesty, but we're gonna have to figure out some angles. So this might be interesting. You ready? <laughs> All right guys, so we are cruising. This cross country bike is feeling like a cross country bike for sure. Cause it's so easy to pedal. It's just killing it through here. All right, guys, here's the first challenge for the Excalibur. Climbing up a little steep section right here. We got some rocks. Let's see if we can get up it. Nice. Got Gracie up there. I don't know what she's doing, but the Excalibur is coming through. <laughs> Can I make it to the top, you see? Oh. Yeah, this Excalibur is a climber. That's for sure. I hope you guys can hear me because I had to mount the camera in a different location because I forgot my chesty, which is my chest mount for my GoPro. This bike does come set up tubeless already, so that's a huge advantage with just getting this bike instead of the Marlin. Got Gracie coming down. Let's see how she handles this. I see you working. I saw that. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, this right here would be the perfect style of trail to try to climb up and practice. So yeah, let's see if you can do it. Hey, you dropped that seat. All right, Gracie is over there somewhere. She didn't want no part of this right here, but we do. So we got the Excalibur here. I did this on the Roscoe before, the Roscoe 7, the older version. So we're gonna see if we could do this on the Excalibur, see if we can get up this, this treacherous rock garden right here. All right, guys, the moment of truth. What can this Excalibur handle? But I gotta get down first. Oh, agility. Here we go. First try. <laughs> Let's go! 
first try. <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys. This thing ain't called Excalibur for no reason. That was actually unbelievable. Last time it took me like four or five tries. The Excalibur took one try. Whoo, that's a piece. I'm surprised. That lets you know how good this bike climbs though. This Excalibur is Excalibur. -ing. All right, guys, we just finished our first lap and we're running out of steam, so you already know what it's time for. It's time to fuel up with Honey Stinger. And today we got Gracie trying it for her first time, so we're gonna get a real life experience from somebody who's never had it and show you guys why you should get it. All right, the moment of truth. We got a first timer trying out Honey Stinger. This is the Honey Waffle. Is it pretty good? That's what I'm talking about. It's like a waffle. I approve this message. Click the link in the description below and get yours today. Oh, you killing it. Okay. Sounds like she needs to get some. I can't get my leg up. Some fox. Some foxes, guys. Get those foxes. Oh, my God. oh nice line. Now that you're getting better at climbing, I can't keep up no more. You're giving me a run for my money. Let me know what you guys think about this camera angle. Because, like I said, this is not how, how the doctor ordered it, but this is how we deliver it. I not doubt this Excalibur. Don't doubt that Excalibur, guys. Is this the way we went back? What? Is this the way we went back? Oh, okay. 